What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing Alex Underhill's team that he used to win Portland Regionals. Now this team right here is amazing. It has the best of the best Pokemon and it screams first turn priority. You got Shen Pao with Sucker Punch. You got Entei with Extreme Speed, Dragonite with Extreme Speed, and on top of that, you have Raging Bolt with Thunderclap. So again, first turn priority is the name of the game with this team. So you're gonna have a lot of people trying to count on this with Psychic Surge and Indeedee. So in that case, we got Shen Pao to kind of clean up that mess with Ice Spinner. Nice little stab move, destroys terrain on the field, and then we can get back to our first turn priority nonsense. On top of that, this team features two other meta Pokemon with Ogre Pond and Fluttermane. Ogre Pond's gonna be great for the support side of things, and on top of that can hit like a truck with Ivy Cudgel and Horn Leech. Then you got Booster Energy Fluttermane, which is super strong in ranked Regulation F. If you guys want to run this team for yourself, I highly recommend it. Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to stay up with all of my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Portland Regionals winning team. First match on its way, looking to start off with a big time victory. We're going up against a Cresselia kind of trick roomish team, right? They got Amoongus, they got Gyarados, they're also rocking out with Sylveon, Dragonite, and Heatran. So how should we play this one? Who should we go into? They could definitely go into Trick Room, but that's not going to stop first turn priority. So I could see them bringing in Dragonite. I could see them leading Gyarados. Gyarados is definitely a lead that I have to watch out for. So you know what? I'm going to go Raging Bolt here. I do like Raging Bolt because I do believe Gyarados is going to come out onto the field. And on top of that, I could go in with like Fluttermane. I actually don't mind Fluttermane considering we're going to get Booster Energy. I can always tear it. Fairy, I can really start getting effort that way. So that's gonna be my lead right there. I'm gonna bring Shen Pao in the back end, and then last but not least, either Dragonite or Entei. And who should I bring here? I'm kind of leaning towards Dragonite. Choice Span, E Speed, can really hit hard. On top of that, I got moves like Stomp and Catch, and that'll be super effective onto the Heatran. I got other moves that can do some big time damage onto other Pokemon. So yeah, Dragonite, gonna be the play. We're locking it in. We're locking down. We're looking for a win here in match number one. But I've been showcasing a lot of off meta teams as recently. So I want to actually get a little bit of change of pace here. Bring you guys yet another team that you guys can use for match here. Especially because the new season just started a week ago. Gotta showcase the top tier team every once in a while, right? Come on, man. It's always fun using meta. It's always fun using off meta and then bouncing back to the meta teams. Because meta teams are just so strong. They really are. They really aren't, but they're going to end up going Dragonite and Gyarados. So I figured they would go into Gyarados here. They're also going to go into the Dragonite. And what is going to be their play here? Because they're going to put attack drop on two of my special attackers, which I don't mind. And they could Terrastalize and start going for E speeds if they want to. But my real question is, do I want to Terrastalize my Fluttermane? I might just double down the Dragonite here because Gyarados might Terrastalize. Gyarados could protect. Gyarados could swap as an Intimidate user. I know it sees Raging Bolt on the field. I think they're just going to like swap or something. So you know what? I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to rip a Dazzle Gleam. That's going to be my play. I could Terrasalize my Raging Bolt. Now that could be an option because a Dragon move from him. Looking real scary. But you know what? I'm going to say no. We're not going to Terrasalize. I'm just going to pop a nice little Thunderbolt and Dazzle Gleam. And double down into the Dragon in slot. Turn one here. So we're going to see a Terror type pop out here. And I wonder who you're cooking. It's got to be Dragon, right? No, it's going to be Gyarados. We're just going to trash slice into ground. That's looking a little scary because EQ seems to be flying. It seems to be flying. Is that some blame going to get popping here? It's going to do decent damage. Is that multi scale? That seems like it's got to be multi scale right there. That damage right there was just not good. Unless you're assault best it. Unless you're. No, dude, that's got to be multi scale dragon. No doubt in my mind that's multi scale. He's going to end up popping an EQ, doing some big time damage onto both my Pokemon. He's going to double down with EQ. Double down with EQ. I have not seen that. Double down with EQ. And they pick up easy, easy two KOs there. Wow. I'm super surprised at that dragon, end, right? Eat up a Dazzling Gleam like that, that's gotta be multi-scale. Hands down, that's multi-scale Dragon Egg. But I have two very strong Pokemon in the back end, ready to roll, and we still have normal Terror type. Which I'm pretty sure I want to go into, right? And just start E speeding down. Probably my best bet. Probably my best bet. Definitely my best bet. I mean, you could have E speed with your Dragon Egg, but I think my Dragon Egg could outspeed. But before I Terrasalize and choice into the normal move, we got to see what Pokemon they have. And this is looking pretty good for us, right? 
They have P-Train. We can deal with that with Shen Pao's uh, Sacred Sword. They got Amoongus. I'm fine with E-Speed now. I'm fine with E-Speed in every single Pokemon besides that P-Train. But still, I'm just going to go Ice Spinner here. And I'm still going to Terrasilize here. I'm going to Terrasilize and E-Speed up. I'm going to Terrasilize and E-Speed up. So Shen Pao is going to have to be the killer of Heatran. That's our only way of winning. If they do have Heatran. And we're going to have to get after it this way. But they're going to end up withdrawing this lovely little Gyarados. Smart play there. And who are they going to go into here? Heatran? Cresselia. Okay, I don't mind dropping Ice Spinner in that slide. You're going to double swap. The double swap comes out of here. So we get to see their whole team in action. It's going to be Amoongus. Okay. So Amoongus coming out here. We should be able to do a decent chunk of damage here with this lovely E-Speed. And I don't mind E-Speed here. I'm worried about the Intimidate a little bit, but we should still be able to chunk up big time damage. Especially with Choice Man, Terra Normal. E-Speed's hitting hard. It's hitting hard, so they choose to go for a double swap here. E-Speed, bringing that thing down to yellow. And damaging me with Rocky Home. It's no big deal. Ice Spinner gonna fly. How much damage is Ice Spinner gonna do? Not as much as we wanted. So I could see Amoongus actually protecting or hard swapping, so I'm just gonna double down into this Crest. Actually, what's Crest gonna do? What would Crest do? I'm just going to attack the Moongus. It ends up Witcher on the Moongus. That's fine. You're going to go into Gyarados. So we're just going to take out Gyarados. That's fine here. He is going to intimidate us, which is a little rough. Actually, oh, you actually... That Citrus Berry gave you a lot of HP. I get the inner focus up. But I still think E-Speed KOs, right? Does E-Speed KO here? We should wait. Yep. E-Speed KO. So E-Speed's just doing huge chunks of damage. I have to keep my Shen Pao on the field so E-Speed can just keep doing damage. And this just shows the power of this first turn priority spam, right? We're just chilling here, just doing some ridiculous damage. I'm going to Ice Spinner up, and I'm kind of hoping this thing's going for a Lunar Blessing, but I could see it going for a Trick Room here. Yeah, and they are going to go for a Trick Room, which is totally fine because I'm just going to simply E-Speed Pokemon down. So I need to keep Shen Pao on the field. I still have Focus Ash, which is great. It is beautiful. But they could start Lunar Blessing. That is definitely an option. So in this case, I think I'm just going to double down into you because you might Lunar Blessing. And if you don't, E-Speed should KO you. So just double down to Dragonite. Let's get after it that way. I am scared of him E-Speeding and then double down with Cresselia. But again, I think there might be a Lunar Blessing play. So in this case, we're going for Ice Spinner. We're doubling down with E-Speed. And we're looking just to KO this thing. If there's an E-Speed from him. So E-Speed comes out. E-Speed's going to fly for me. And can my E-Speed KO? I would love that. It does, because Ice Spinner's just going to fly into Crest now. Beautiful. So Crest is probably attacking here. Or it could be going for a Lunar Boss. No, it's going to go for a Moon Boss. Can you soak this? You do. That's huge, Shen Pao, because I need you on the field here. I needed you on the field here. So I'm thinking of E-Speeding down Crest and KO in that, and then just protecting Shen Pao. Because again, I need Shen Pao on the field for its ability. They're going to throw out their final Pokemon, which is Amoongus. Amoongus with Sport, going to be annoying. But still, I'm just going to protect here. Actually, I should KO the Amoongus. I should KO the Amoongus. Or at least attempt to. Do I double down? No, we're just going to protect Shen Pao. Hopefully he doesn't protect the Amoongus. Mmm. Mmm. That hurts. That hurts. Even though I think they're going into Moonblast into Shen Pao slot. Right? Am I correct? They gotta be going for Moonblast into Shen Pao slot. Yes. But I believe they get back a little bit of HP here from Leftover slash Black Sludge. No, they don't have it. Okay. So, we should E speed again. How many turns are left in Trick Two. If you're attacking me. I might as well sucker punch you. And then E-Speed you. First turn priority all day. Goes for the double protect on the Amoongus. He's going to fail. E-Speed finishing this thing off? Oh my god, yeah. Dude, this is why this team is ridiculous. We just spammed E-Speed and protects. And won this match. With a 4v2. Absurd. Absurd. Just want to showcase the power of this squad for you guys. Sucker punch can come in here. Clean up this match, no problem. And... It was legit a 4v2, and Dragonite and Shen Pao 
said no problem, let me get you the win. Match number two on its way. We won the first one with Shen Pao Dragonite, dropping E speeds, killing it that way. But now we're going up against a Shen Pao team of their own. They got Shen Pao to pair up with no first turn priority Pokemon. Maybe Rolum you can consider first turn priority Pokemon. But they also have Urshfu to pair it up as well. They got Fluttermane, they got Ogre Pond, and Latias as final three. And for my lead, I'm thinking, honestly, Fluttermane could be really solid. I kind of want to throw out Pokemon that can't really be affected by a fake out, considering they do have Rolum. So I do like Entei and Fluttermane here for the lead, and bring Shen Pao in the back end. Now, our last Pokemon, I'm kind of leaning towards Raging Bolt. Rage Bolt is just going to be nice, especially up against that Urshfu if it is water. On top of that, you got the Thunderclap to deal with the Ogre Pond. Or I could just go Dragonite with Choice Band. Or I could go Ogre Pond of my own. But again, I'm leaning towards Rage Bolt, so I'm going to end up doing that and rocking out with that Pokemon. The Raging Bolt. Maybe I should have went into Ogre Pond instead, because Shen Pao Fluttermane. Hmm. I don't really, don't really like that. don't really like that, but I do like Raging Bolt here, especially late game. Thunderclap just works so well. Good old Thunderclap. Good old Thunderclap. So let's see who they want to lead. I could see Rolboom as lead, hence the reason why I led my inner focus and ghost type Pokemon. Don't feel like dealing with fake out. But if they do end up leading Pokemon like Urshifu, that could be a little tough for us as well. I do have Fluttermane on the field, but most likely they would just harass it. We would just have to read the terror type. But maybe that might not be Water Urshifu. I've been seeing a lot of Dark Urshifus in Ranked Regulation F as recently, and we just used it in our last video with Umura, and it works so well. Just hits like a truck. They're gonna end up going into Shen Pao and Latias, and yeah, I'm, I have to Terrasilize and go into Dash of Gleam. Absolute must. It's an absolute must. Two Pokemon that are weak to Fairy type. We gotta rip up into it. We have to rip up into it. So Terrasilize, Dash and Gleam coming out here. Do we double down into Shen Pao? We could, we could double down into Shen Pao. Could go for Snarl here as well. Um, they could end up hard swapping. Now, special attacking wise, they do have Fluttermane. I would think they would swap to a physical attacker more so than anything. And from here, you know what? I'm just going to Terrasilize a lot or uh, double down into, I think maybe Latias here because they could protect Shen Pao and then maybe pop a tail in. I'm going to start getting after it that way. So, you know what? I'm just going to Snarl on the board. I am just going to Snarl. So, we're definitely going to see a Terror type from them, right? I'm just curious to see who. It's going to be the Shen Pao. Going into Ghost type? Fire. Fire Shen Pao. Works perfectly. I feel like only I would be going up against Fire Shen Pao. That's so odd. Definitely is odd. So, Fire Shen Pao coming out here. I'm able to go into the lovely little fairy type in here. And I can always E speed that Shen Pao down next turn. But I end up going for a Snarl here. Just in case he terrestrializes the Latias here. The Latias could be Satched. Definitely could be. And actually, it soaks really well. We can probably still get off a Tailwind. I still have a Crash coming across here. We're able to not soak, just absolutely get massacred. And we're getting ripped here in match number two. We're getting ripped. Are you popping that tailwind? Most likely, right? Yes. Oh, that hurts, man. Really? Gleam Gleam doesn't KO you? And that Snarl doesn't KO you. I would think the Snarl would KO the Latias, but it just didn't. That really hurts. That really hurts. Now they're sitting here with a bunch of speed. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got to go in the Shen Pao. So now I can E speed up. Um, do we think E speed can KO that Shen Pao? I think it can. I really hope it can. Shen Pao's a little lightweight. Shen Pao definitely in lightweight. And I'm thinking of just going double first turn priority. Go sucker punch into that slot. But I want to check out this Fluttermane here. That booster energy should be into special attack. That's just crazy how that. I would think that would KO, right? With the Terra boost as well? Weird, it's odd. But I'm thinking I'm just going Sucker Punch here. And on top of that, just E-speeding this. Slide. I think we KO. I think we can pick up double KO here. They're going to end up withdrawing Shen Pao. That's fine. We're E-speeding that slot. What's Latias going for? Latias, what are you going for? So Fluttermane's going to come out here. That's a good dodge there. And they do a double withdrawal. So they get a free double swap here. Big time plays from our opponent. Big time plays. 
They get to bring out rope, so they can fake me out next turn. Um, I don't fake out on my Entei, which kind of sucks. Definitely kind of sucks. Well, not fake out, protect on my Entei. So I'm thinking of just protecting Shen Pao. I'm trying to waste out these stamina turns, right? Yeah, so go protect here. And Sacred Fire. Just KO this room. So our opponent's playing really good here in match number two. Swap in and out. Still super surprised that that Latias was able to soak up no problem. I get if it was Sash too. But still, I, I just feel like it should have been dead. I'm going to protect the Shen Pao here. I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam, which is no problem for me. I believe this Entei is vested as well. Yeah, it's soaking really well. And are you going for Stomp Attacks from High Horsepower? That's fine. I soaked that all day. The big time soak from us. Sacred Fire going to fly through here. Probably KO, right? Yep. Get the thing on out of my face. You gone. So now we pick up a KO there. Um. Okay. Get back a little bit of HP. We still have Raging Bolt back in. Now Raging Bolt, not terrible here. Is I going to bring back out Shin Pao? We might just protect it, right? We might just protect who is most likely going to protect. So I'm going to Ice Spin in this. And I feel like I have to E-Speed that. Because you're going to go for Daz and Gleam, right? You're going to go for Daz and Gleam. You're going to protect anyway. I know I know he's protecting. But just in case, I feel like we have to. Because I'd rather not swap into... I'd rather not swap into... Raging Bolt. So yeah, there's this simple protect. That's just an easy call. And I had to go into E-Speed here. I had to. I just had to. So he's just going to Dazzle Gleam. He's going to finish off my Entei. On top of that, Shen Pao is going to go down the Sash. And I'll be able to get off a big time Ice Spinner. Now that's going to upset me because Icicle Crash KO'd my Flutter main, But I already know this Ice Spinner is not KO'd their Flutter main, <laughs> So I'm going to be so upset. I already know. It's not even going to come close. Let's see what we got cooking here. Yeah, see, I told you. I told you. So, Grass is gone from the battlefield. Their Tailwind's gone now, too. So, so this is, mm, this is kind of close. This is kind of close. So, I can Thunderclap this Flutter Mean here. Now, Shen Pao, what is your speed at? I really hope you outspeed their Shen Pao. You are as fast as a Shen Pao can get. You are as fast as a Shen Pao can get. So, Sucker Punch. Could KO you and Thunderclap can KO you. So first turn priority squad coming in hot here. They could go for a double swap or a single swap here. It's definitely a possibility. But I have to go for my first turn priority move. I have to. These are my final two Pokemon. Shen Pao sitting down here on Focus Sash. But the good thing is, this Shen Pao is as fast as a Shen Pao can get. It literally is. It's as fast as a Shen Pao can get. They're gonna go into their final Pokemon and they're gonna bring back out Latias. And they're gonna go for just a simple protect. So they're looking to set up a Tailwind here. Um, huh. I don't want them setting up a Tailwind, so I have to go for... Oh, man. Do I just protect you? And then maybe just... Hmm. No. Now, the problem here is, are they going to go for Sucker Punch? I think I have to sucker punch this thing just in case. Yeah, I'm gonna sucker punch that and I'm just gonna thunderbolt this thing. He might protect again. He might protect Shen Pao again. But if he sets up a oh, if he sets up a tailwind, that's tough news. This is this cutting it close. This is cutting it close. Our opponent's playing so good. Gotta give it to him. Gotta give respect when it's due. He ends up protecting the Shen Pao. Smart call on their end. So they're going to be able to get off Tailwind here. Tailwind's going to be able to come out and about. Now they get Tailwind back on the field. Um, Thunderbolt's going to KO you. And now they're bringing back out Flutter. Alright. So. That happens. I should have just attacked the Latias. Knowing he was going to protect. But if he didn't protect. like I thought he was playing mind games with me. And was going to sucker punch me. That was my problem. That's why I want to go for sucker punch first. But now they bring out Fluttermane. Now they have speed. Now their sucker punch can come out before my sucker punch. And they can KO my Shen Pao first. They could easily KO my Shen Pao first. So what I want to do here is. I kind of just want to protect you. 
And I kind of just want to thunderclap this. Because I'm thinking they're going to sucker punch my Shen Pao, right? And maybe just protect their Flutter Blade. So I'm going to protect my Shen Pao and try to KO their Flutter Blade this turn. Wow, yo. What a, what a second match. Alright. Let's see what they got cooking. They gotta be going for Sucker Punch here. They gotta be. So I'm gonna protect my Shen Pao. Try to turn this into a 2v1. And they're going to go for the Sucker Punch in that slot. So good calls on our end. It's gonna fail. Thunderclap's gonna come through here. We can wave bye bye to Fluttermain. And now we're sitting here 2v1 style. 2v1. And my plan here is to just go Sacred Sword, right? Sacred Sword. And Thunderbolt. Easy play. Easy play. 2v1. And they just cancel battle. So great plays for us to clean up that match. We're 2 0. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. And our opponents have been playing really well. This just shows how strong this team is because we're still winning. We're 2 0 dominating with one of the best teams for ranked regulation ever. But we're going up against a Raging Bolt, Ursa Luna, Ferrigraph kind of trick roomish team. They also have Amoongus to thrive in the trick room. Then they got Urshifu and Flutter. So they're definitely going to want to pop trick room, it looks like, on this squad, especially leading Ferrigraph, right? So Ferrigraph probably going to be the lead. And in this case, that stops first turn priority too. So we have to go into Pokemon. That could just rip. That could just hit this thing hard. And when I think of that, I think of Shen Pao and I think of like right think of just absolutely dominating and just hitting with these pokemon or i could go into like dragonite or something but i like these two as lead so i'm gonna bring in both of them i am going to bring in flutter main for late game and last but not least if we can stop trick room and first time priority dragon knight is going to be really good it's gonna be really good so i'm gonna go dragonite actually maybe i should have went into raging bolt because raging bolt does have the safety goblins and that could deal with Spore Moongus, because Spore Moongus, we don't like that one bit. We do not like that one bit. Well, we went 3-0 in our last video, and now we're sitting 2-0, so we're on a 5 game winning streak on recording, which is dope. Which is dope. Looking at a 6-0, back-to-back 3-0 records. Don't always happen on the Jeans channel, but we tried it. We tried it all the time. Got a few of them under my belt. Got a few. I think I, I think my record's 3-0 three, three videos in a row. I think that's my record. So looking to do it here and make it 2 but they're gonna go Fluttermain Urshfu. No for Riggies. No for Riggies come out here. And that kinda I don't like that. I don't like no Friggies. That's Dark Urshifu too. Dark Urshifu is here. So you're probably Sash, Dark Urshifu. Um I could use my Sash if I want to. Oh man. That's a great lead. I could protect Shen Pao, but what's that really gonna do? I think using our focus sash is probably your best bet. Huh. I think I'm just going Sacred Sword here, dealing some damage, and then on top of that, I could go for Follow Me, I could go for Spike Shield, but I think I'm just going to double down in Urshifu. I don't think Urshifu attacks. I don't think Urshifu attacks, so I'm just going to go into this. No, I'm just going to go for Close Combat, that's fine. That's fine. And hopefully my Shen Pao outspeeds, which it should, that's not Boost Energy Flutter Man. And I can get off this lovely move right here. It's a lovely Sacred Sword. But that's actually Choice Scarf right there. And of course Sacred Sword doesn't KO, even with the defensive drop. But that's Gleam's gonna fly out here and just finish off my Shen Pao. Hmm. Okay, so Ivy Cudgel fights here. We don't have our boy anymore, which really... Hey, we really want it. I might terrestrialize my Ogre Pond just for a special defense boost. Works really well, but I'm gonna go into Fluttermain here. Keep my Dragonite for late game. And they're gonna send out their third Pokemon, which is Farigi. Farigi's come out here, so I'm definitely feeling like I wanna Thrasilize my. My what's it called? I definitely feel like I wanna Thrasilize my Ogre Pond here. I could protect Fluttermane, because they're going to get off whatever they want to get off, right? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to protect you, and I'm just going to go for this and an Ivy Cudgel into this Fluttermane slot. So I want this special defense boost more than anything, right? Going up against two special attackers, special defense boost is going to be lovely. And 
and I'm hoping I can deal some big time damage. Maybe get a crit. I know I have a raised chance of getting a crit with the water ogre pond Ivy Cudge. The body aspect coming out here. Give me that plus one special defense boost. And I'm just gonna protect my foot. So I would think they would be going for trick room more than anything, right? Shadow Ball is flying through the slot. Good protect from me. I was gonna I was gonna Shadow Ball him as well. Now I get off a big time Ivy Cudgel. So Ivy Cudgel cooking. How much damage are we doing now? Leaving you on one. Okay, you have focus dash. I was gonna say, was that a free focus dash? Because I'd be really upset. I would definitely be upset. And now Trick Room comes out here. So now my Fluttermane outspeeds their Fluttermane, and their fastest Pokemon is going to be the free. So I'm just gonna dash and gleam now. And bump, 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 go IB Cudgel into this slot, right? Rather do some big time damage rather than get some HP recovery back. See, yeah, I believe my flutter means faster than theirs. Not sure. It seems like it, right? It seems like it should. In that case, maybe I should just rip the dance and bleed. Hyper Voice is going to come out here. Flutter means dodging. I got special defense boost, so it's not doing any crazy damage. My IV Cudgel now flying. Maybe I should have went after the, uh, the flutter main with that, but still, I want to get off some big time damage on Frigraph. And yeah, I should have, because my calculations did not work out well here. But I survived, so that works. Dazzle Gleam cooking up here. Double KO. Double KO. So now we're sitting here with Dragonite in the back end. I'm able to E speed. And they're gonna bring out Ursaluna, correct? Ursaluna, because that's why they popped the trick room for that Pokemon. And now really all I gotta hope here is for Ogre Pine to be able to eat up a shot. Right, because I'm going to go for Moonblast here. I'm just going to go for Horn Leech. I'd rather get the HP back. Especially with that special defense boost. So I'm curious to see what they go for. They're going to Thrasilize. They're going to Thrasilize. But I'm curious to see if they go for Hyper Voice. Because I think my Ogre Pod can eat up Hyper Voice. Or if they're going to go for Blood Moon. Actually, you might not be able to eat up Hyper Voice with that. Not looking good. Not looking good. Let's see. Hyper Voice. Ogre Pod. You're plus one. I don't think you got that. You do got that. My dog. My dog. So I should have went for Ivy Cudgel. Um, I'm able to bring out Dragon Knight in East Speed pretty much the rest of the match. So I think I'm feeling good on this. I'm feeling good on a 3 0 perfect record, right? They get back HP. Not enough to eat up another one. But they're definitely going to go for another Hyper Voice here. So I could Spiky Shield. I could Spiky Shield the Force him to go into more. But you know what? No, we should be fine here. But if they go for Blood Moon this turn, we have a problem. So I'm just going to stay with this. East be going to fly through here. Another one should KO. So I was going to say, if they go for a Blood Moon this turn and we protect it, it would be a problem. Because Hyper Voice, we're able to soak. East Speed can now come out here and finish this one off. Unless you have Vacuum Leave. But we should be able to soak up a Vacuum Leave. If it's not stabbed, it's going to be not very effective. And plus, we actually, East Speed has priority over that. So GG's. GG's 3-0 perfect record? Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Portland Regional Championship team right here. This is one of the best teams I've used in ranked regulation apps so far. So again, like I said at the beginning of today's video, rent this team if you guys want to push high ranks. Rent the coach just chilling in the top right hand corner. You got tons of first turn priority, you got ways of breaking the terrain. And then on top of that, you got Flutter Main and Ogre Pond. You're great in all different situations. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.